But first, let's start the new year off right. Our etiquette expert, Diane Gutsman, is joining us this morning from home with some tips. Good to see you. Happy New Year. New Year. I thought this would be a fun way to start out 2021 with simple little little tidbits and tips. Right? You know, we can't really do too much. So I think if you start small, you have a better chance of being successful when it comes to your resolutions, right? Start with your shoes. <laughs> you know, every detail matters. And so that's why my first point is to shine your shoes or get your shoes resold or take them to the cobbler. You know, I think that, you know, we we move with our feet and so often that's one of the things that we let go of. So just take a quick look in your closet, pull out what you need to repair, donate what you don't want. And I think that's a great first step, no pun intended. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's also a good time to cancel subscriptions that you're not using, you know, magazines, things like that gift boxes, right? Get rid of that stuff. Oh my goodness. Think about all of the money that you could save, that I could save, we could save by just looking at the things that we don't use. Mm -hmm. Now, if you use the subscriptions, by all means, keep them. But if you have a, a weight loss app you've not looked at and just bothers you, you know, when you see it pop up, or you have, um, you have something, you know, I have these magazines that I get in the mail that I buy early because they come out you know a month early so mm -hmm. i'm canceling many of my magazine subscriptions there's things that i'm going through go through your app on your phone hit your name go to settings hit your name go to purchases and look and see what you're paying for that you don't even know that you're paying for right now and that's going to save you a lot of money absolutely and it's also a good time to go through your junk mail and start unsubscribing to things that you don't need right and you're going to have to do that over and over again mm -hmm. so Speaking from experience, and I know we all have done this, you get on a list, you get on some list, or you, you add yourself to a list, and then you want to get off of it. You hit unsubscribe, and you still get their emails. So you might have to write customer service by email. You might have to call them on the phone. But if they are bothering you and they are spamming up your inbox, do something about it. Make a commitment to get rid of the junk email. Absolutely. It just takes a couple of minutes. Sit there, unsubscribe. You, you'll feel like less cluttered for sure. All right. Let's talk about doing some cleaning out. Uh, cleaning out the spice rack. It's always good to go through that thing. Okay. So here is a full disclosure on my end. So I believe that we all should go through our cabinets, look at our spices, much of the food products we have and make sure they're not expired. But while I was pulling all of this together for the show, I was con convicted. I have seven tins of my favorite tea. My <laughs> girlfriend makes this beautiful vanilla that I don't want to use. So what do I do? I go buy vanilla. So I have five or six vanillas. I'd probably have more if I kept looking. I didn't want to look anymore. I was, I was getting low self-esteem. I have uh, red pepper flakes to feed all of us for about six years. So just Look and see what you have. Make an inventory. It's fun. Make a little checklist. That way, when you go to the store, you know what you need. Sometimes you might have something in your cabinet that's not even, it's, it's almost empty, like baking soda, let's say. So this is the time to get on track for two, 2021. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Uh, go through social media. A lot of people are doing that right now. Go through your friend list. Get rid of people you're not talking to. Do a purge. Yes, and you're not being ugly, you're not being mean, it's, this is not aggressive, but just look through your social media uh, feed and see if there's people that you've lost track of, that you no longer, keep, for whatever reason, keep in touch with, and if, especially if they're annoying you, if there are toxins, sometimes we just have to weed our garden. Mm -hmm. And in regard to social media, look at your profile picture, because unless you are purposely putting a baby picture up for, <laughs> for when you were a baby, or maybe your kid's picture, um, your your profile picture should be a reflection of who you are, mm -hmm. so update it so it's current. Okay, good plan. Uh, this is something that I need to do. I'm terrible at this. Make your medical appointments, go to your yearly dental cleanings, your mammograms, all of that stuff. It's good to make those appointments at the beginning of the year. Just do it. Just do it. We all dread it. We put it off and all of a sudden it's the middle of the year. All of a sudden it's next year. So this is the time to sit down and just make those appointments. And we also have to think about our pets too, right? We've got to take them to the vet, get them all updated and things. 
it's when we make our appointments make our pets appointments as well it's time to look in the cabinet and see how we're doing on hardware medication make sure that you have flea medication up to date just everything so i have a little prop here <laughs> i have marty i have my baby and he's i love you know, marty <laughs> he's going to the vet too we're all going to go to the doctor soon <laughs> such a good plan all right so we've got a final couple of tips here uh make a budget and stick to it and then this is one that I love. Create a calendar of family experiences and wish lists and talk about how you're going to make those things happen in this year, 2021. And nothing hard. Simple book, little budget book, if that's what works for you. If not on the computer, if you have something you want to do as a family, and we all do, do it. Learn a new language. Go hiking together. Find something that you can all enjoy. We're still, you know, still struggling with the pandemic right now, but, but there are things that we can do together that is going to continue to make us stronger, and this is going to be a better 2021. It is. Diane, thank you so much for your time. It's always good to see you. Give Marty a treat after he goes to the vet, and we will see you soon. You can find Diane Gottsman at the Protocol School of Texas here in San Antonio. Of course, she's on Facebook and Instagram at Diane Gottsman and also DianeGottsman.com.